they say the early bird catches the worm. So in this talk I want to have with you, I want to talk about punctuality or lateness in punctuality. You know, I really think that Jamaica is suffering from a chronic ailment called lateness or impunctuality. And too many of us are guilty of it, especially our politicians and our entertainers. Now, I believe that lateness is costing our country close to $7 billion annually. Now, I think that if we learn how to be better time managers, I believe that we can actually improve our economy. It will show in our signs in our economy and it will show signs in our, in, in, in even in just our daily life. Because, you know, I think sometimes even the speeding, the way we behave on the road, is as a result of lateness. You know, people leave their homes at five minutes to eight and expect to reach to work at eight o'clock. It's impossible. And that is why sometimes passengers who are not driving beg their drivers to speed up and so that they can reach on time. And those who own vehicles and are driving, they will try to speed to beat that clock. But the truth is, once you're late, you're going, once you've left late, you're going to be late. So we as Jamaicans need to be better time managers. We need to do better and cut out the lateness. Most of us are called um, late people. You know, some people have even given it a name, Jamaica time or island time. I want for this year and onwards, Jamaicans, all of us, myself included, should be known as early people because it's costing us too much as Jamaicans. Um, this is just part one of my lateness video. I hope that you'll give me some feedback and let me know what your thoughts are. Should we, can we, will we improve on our time management and stop losing revenue because of our lateness? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like these. God bless. See you next time.